In this video, I'm going to show you three different bank systems that are out there, and they're very interesting. They kind of work, and a lot of people will have success with them. Um, so I'm going to try to teach them to you, but my main goal isn't actually that you master these systems. It's that you come to appreciate the idea that as you continuously change the numbering system on the table, it gets really, really more complex and hard to understand. So now we have an example of a numbering system where the table is renumbered for a specific shot. In this sh case, we're trying to shoot from sort of the side numbers down into the end rail, two rails to kick back into a location here. And this is pretty cool. It actually does work decent at, at one speed, at like a slow speed. The idea is like if I start from the seventh diamond and I go through the fifth diamond, uh, or at least what we're calling diamond five here, the number five, seven plus five, theoretically rebounds into 12 because seven plus five is 12. Now it works at slow speed or one specific speed, but if you change your speed up, it doesn't work and it doesn't offer a speed adjustment. It is kind of interesting, but my real problem is that, okay, so these are the numbers for that shot. This is three, five, seven. Um, these are one through eight and these go by half a diamond. I, my brain has trouble then shifting to, let me show you another pattern. This is the corner five system. Now, I don't want to knock this too much. It is a tried and true, true bank system, but um, I don't like it. I think it's hard to apply and speed really matters. Let me just show you, for example, how it works. So over here, the idea is if you are starting, these red numbers are your starting numbers. So for example, if you start at diamond five, which you're starting at one, 1 1.5. This is weird, going by half, starting at one. Anyway, the corner ends up being five. That's why they call this the corner five system. And if you aim through diamond two, what you would do is you'd subtract these numbers. And that would be theoretically where you come out on the, uh, on the third rail. Now the third rail is no longer these red numbers, it'd be these black numbers. Now this system's kind of cool, but the speed breaks down a little bit. Let me show you on the table. Set up for corner five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I got the one ball set up for a kick shot. Of course, we're shooting five through two. Five minus two as the ball comes down around, it's gonna rebound and we're coming from this angle into the third diamond. So that's why I have the one set up here and not closer to the edge there. So let's just prove that this is a good hit. Five minus two. Ooh, it's three, that's real nice. Let's show that again. I'll show you how awesome this shot is. I can do it over and over again. So we're gonna do five minus two. I'm gonna shoot this soft now. Five minus two. Wait a minute. Four? Five minus two is four? I'm a math teacher, that's not right. Five minus two is four. I must have done something wrong. Let me hit it hard again. Oh, five minus two is three when you shoot hard. Five minus two is kind of four when you shoot soft. Now I'm being a little unfair. This shot is designed for a rolling cue ball with running English. I'm being dramatic here the way I'm applying power, but I do want to point out just how much power does affect shots like these. But again, the main point for this set is that these numbers are crazy. You're starting at one going by halves. And then by the time you wrap it around the table, nope, going by one starting at zero again. So now we have a numbering system to kick from end rail to end rail into a ball on the side rail. And uh, it's kind of neat. Notice the renumbering is actually similar to the corner five system, um, starting at one instead of zero, going by halves, whatever. And the idea is wherever you are on the side rail, so this is diamond 2.5. We're not looking at the diamond itself. We're looking on the rail group. So we go straight out. This would be 2.5. And now this renumbers your end rail starting points. We go increments of 2.5. So this is 1 times 2.5, 2 times 2.5, 3, and 4 times 2.5. So if we were at the third diamond, we would do 3 times 2.5, and we would have to aim at 7.5. And theoretically, this would give us our proper aiming point to kick that ball. Now let's imagine for a second you were not on uh, that spot. Let's say you are at here. So let's say you're at not diamond three, but you were kind of aiming from diamond two. This is 2.75. So now we have to do 2.75 times 2.5. Anybody? 2.75 times 2.5? Anybody do that in your head? Uh, yeah, I can't either. Now I want to use this system to kick at that ball. So now I got to figure out, okay, so what diamond am I at? Well, if I'm, if I kind of line through here, I would be at diamond four. Okay, so now the side diamonds become four, eight, 12, 16. But if you were kind of looking through, um, if you were looking through this diamond, you wouldn't be through four anymore. You'd be at like 
4.4. So now you do 4.4 times 1, 2, 3, or, or if you're here, 1.75 times 4.4. And that's dependent on, well, let's say that was the line of aim. You said, okay, well, actually, you'd have to work backwards. You have to do 20 divided by 4.4. Any takers, 20 divided by 4.4. No, thank you. It is a very neat system if the ball is perfectly on the rail, right? And you are perfectly on one of these diamond numbers. And what I haven't mentioned yet is you have to aim with the right speed. If you hit this too hard or too soft, you don't make the shot. So not only is this renumbering the rails, the rails are changing depending on where the ball is. They're changing on the fly, and it's very hard to do the, the math in your head.